Hey, welcome to Classic Performance and part six of the tiny house pontoon boat or the pontoon tiny house. And uh, I think we've just about got the thing finished up and wrapped up. And it's an exciting day because this is the day where we work on the FFE, the furniture, fixtures, and equipment, which are gonna go inside. So let's come on up on top side. Let me let you take a look around in here, see what it looks like finished before we start putting our furniture uh, and our essentials inside. So here we are on the inside. It is complete, it's finished. Uh, we've gone through our punch list and we're just ready to start uh, uh, decorating and bringing in uh, the furniture, the fixtures and the equipment. Uh, so we've got the floor and this is the, uh, this is the regular pontoon marine kind of woven vinyl. It's on the floor like you'd have on any pontoon boat. You might've seen that from episode number one. Uh, we've got our back wall done. That's a heavy vinyl wallpaper. Uh, we've got uh, receptacle up here and some uh, blocking the back of the wall for a TV and of course we've got our ceiling fan uh, our air conditioning unit 5000 BTU that's running away chilling at 62 degrees and our power panel over here for our DC voltage and as we move around over here uh, this of course is for our uh, AC and DC power uh, and our DC transformer and it's kind of like an RV power supply with also square D 15 amp breakers for our circuits and our lights. So anyway, let's get busy and let's start uh, making this place into a home. Okay, so while the home decor group gets busy inside, kind of like Joanna Gaines comes in there at the last moment with the kids and all and gets everything pretty, uh, we're gonna go uh, keep working on the outside. Got a couple things to do and we've got a motor we wanna put on the back too. So let me show you where we are on the outside. Uh, we've got our corners done, you saw that. Uh, we've got our navigation light, our horn. Uh, got our string party lights around the top too as an additional uh, lighting option. Got our cleats here for our uh, our fenders, our bumpers, so to speak, that will go here. Uh, finished up this trim right here. Remember that glossy trim? We put a little bit of one by left over from the inside, painted black, stripped that uh, to get the waviness out of it. And then in the back here, uh, all importantly we have our cleats here in the back and our signage uh, this is variegated gold leaf kind of routed out filled in clear coated and this is uh this is what we're going to call it uh it's the tiny tune and uh it says established in 2022 so that's when the idea came about and this uh became on paper uh over the holidays in 2022 and we're building here in 2023 so what we're going to do too in the back when you saw uh, we put this in the water uh, the back end, as it went in the water, the water level was kind of high. So once we put a motor on here and the additional weight, I'm afraid it's going to might, might go under. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this full of liquid foam. So we're going to do that right now, and then we're going to get prepped uh, to put our, our outboard motor on here. And I'll give you one look from the back side, and then also from up down here. You can see this is a very large cavity, so it'll it's as far up my arm can go way up in there. So this large cavity uh, is gonna be flotation for when it dips in the water and it'll help bring the back end up. So what we're gonna use for our buoyancy here is this total boat flotation foam and it's a one-to-one -one mixture uh, and you've gotta work really quick. So this right here is actually two pounds uh, of, of material and what it does is it makes two cubic feet of foam. So I'm gonna dump these two parts together mix them up in this little uh, planter bucket here and I'm gonna pour it in the hole and what I did is I took this foil tape and taped up everything on the inside as you can see and a little extra piece in here for reinforcement so we're gonna get busy we're gonna work fast we're gonna mix this we're gonna pour it in there and see what happens all right so we poured our foam in the hole uh, that was the total contents of it those two canisters and you can see the foam is is rising right now so uh, we're gonna see how far it rises and we can see how fast it's coming up. You can actually see it moving there. So she's still continuing to rise almost at the top. I put the front of the boat down to try to move some of it towards the front, uh, give it a little jiggle, but that looks like, uh, that looks like it's gonna do it. Just kind of like, just kind of like baking bread. So I measure two cubic feet and just in a matter of minutes, foam as hard as the rock so it worked out just perfect just came up just to the top of the uh of the deck band and uh, we're good to go and that's going to provide some nice flotation uh, all the way up on this big uh this big uh unit right here 
So one of the important things, we've got to have our number plates. We've got our number plates on here. We riveted uh, those metal plates there, 40 thousandths aluminum. Got our stickers, and on the back, we've got our outboard motor installed. Uh, so we've got engine on the back, and uh, so we're, we're perfectly outfitted uh, to hit the water. And today is going to be launch day. So we're going to launch the boat, and then when we do that, we'll get it tied up on the dock, and we'll give you the full reveal of the inside. So come on, let's go launch the boat. Turn's coming up. Oh, yeah. No problem. It's hard to hold, then. We're going to just let it go all the way out. Oh, almost. Give it one last shove. Yep, yeah, one more time. There you go. We're floating. Floating. You can bring her on out. Clear. All clear. Yep. So we have got the boat floating. It floats fantastic. I'll give you a look at that and we'll take a tour as promised. Uh, our brief sea tower went spectacular. So uh, let's go on the dock. Let's climb aboard and uh, show you the finished product. So as you can see, it's just perfectly level. It's level front to back and it's also almost perfectly level right across uh, with the uh, with the dock. So from front to rear she sits absolutely perfect. Uh, we've got our, our AC running plugged into our shore power uh, right over here. So shore power is plugged in and we've got a, uh, a 20 amp receptacle right here which powers it up and we'll take a quick look at the back before we go on the inside and uh, as you can see looking at the uh, at the pontoons uh, it's almost you know right at the water mark of where it was when it was a pontoon so it sits very nice and only using about half of the uh half of the the flotation of the pontoon so it's sunk down only about halfway and the back as well uh is almost perfectly level with the dock so which is nice because like many pontoons uh they tend to sit down in the back but even with the motor on this uh she sits perfectly level so let's go let's go take a look on the inside so we're here on the front dock. We've got our seating right here, sitting for two. Uh, we've got a dog bowl. Uh, there's some time there'll be a dog on board. And uh, from the inside, uh, this is the this is the reveal and the finished product. So uh, uh, this is gonna be a kind of an overnighter. And uh, so we've got our bed right here. That's a queen size bed. And as you might've seen earlier, our lights and our, our fan and so forth. Uh, got a TV up here we got to do a little something to address these cords uh, DVD player uh, we've got uh, a hot spot for Wi-Fi for streaming and so forth like that uh, here's some of your towels uh, a laundry bin storage here for your life jackets and uh, other things like that throwable cushion uh, fire extinguisher and so forth um, we've got a little storage area or a dog crate down here uh, cups and and so forth that are that are velcroed kind of hard to get up but they're velcroed so they stay they stay put uh, a couple other little things here We've got a small refrigerator uh, that will stock with some water and so forth coffee maker and of course our air conditioning set on 67 degrees and around the front side we've got some blackout curtains so we can pull these curtains right here uh, and they are very effective so if you're sleeping in here at night and we turn the lights off right here we turn our sconces off over here uh this place is dark i mean here's our air conditioner a little bit of light around the door uh, but this place is absolutely dark uh, when we pull these shades and turns the light off so uh for spending the night on the boat uh perfect sleeping you can sleep in as long as you want uh in these dark out conditions so that's a look at the interior of the Tiny Tune. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and pop a bottle of champagne, christen the front of it, and call it an official launch. So weather can change very quickly. Uh, we had a beautiful day, then all of a sudden a storm came through, but that's not gonna stop us from christening the Tiny Tune. Woo! That's how you do it, right there. Anyway, that concludes our tour and our series of the build of the Tiny Tune Pontoon uh, Tiny House right here on Classic Performance. Take care, have yourself a great day.